Have you ever wondered what arthritis really is? It's a question that reverberates in the minds of many, as arthritis is a common health issue that affects millions of people around the globe. When we say arthritis, we're referring to the inflammation of one or more joints which leads to discomforting symptoms such as pain and stiffness. It's like your body's way of saying hey something's not right here, but it's not as straightforward as it seems. Arthritis isn't just a single disease it's an umbrella term, encompassing over 100 different types of arthritis and related conditions. From the well-known osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, to the lesser-known ankylosing spondylitis and gout, the variety is vast, each with their own unique characteristics and effects on the body. So let's dive deeper to understand what happens in our body when we have arthritis. To understand arthritis first, we need to understand how a healthy joint works. Picture a joint like a well-oiled machine. The bones that form the joint are like the machine's parts. These bones are covered in a smooth elastic tissue known as cartilage. This cartilage acts like a cushion, preventing the bones from grinding against each other. Now, consider the role of the synovium. This thin membrane surrounds the entire joint, producing a fluid that lubricates the cartilage and reduces friction. This synovial fluid, similar to the oil in our machine, ensures that the joint moves smoothly, effortlessly. This is how a healthy joint functions, working tirelessly to support our every move. But what happens when this system fails? That's when arthritis comes into play. Arthritis is essentially a breakdown of this well-oiled machine. It commonly starts with the wearing away of the cartilage. Without its protective cushion, the bones begin to rub against each other, causing pain and discomfort. The body, in an attempt to protect itself, responds with inflammation. The synovium thickens, producing excess synovial fluid. This leads to swelling and stiffness in the joint. The pain you feel, that's the result of this inflammation, coupled with the bones grinding together. Now, it's important to note that, while this is the fundamental process of arthritis, different types of arthritis can have different underlying causes and effects. For instance, in osteoarthritis, the most common type, it's primarily the cartilage that breaks down. But in rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune disease, the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the synovium, causing inflammation and joint damage. So, the pathophysiology of arthritis isn't just about worn-out cartilage or inflamed joints, it's about the breakdown of an intricate system designed to protect our bones and facilitate movement. And while arthritis can certainly be a challenging condition to live with, understanding its underlying processes is the first step towards managing and hopefully, overcoming it. This is the fundamental process of arthritis, but different types of arthritis can have different underlying causes and effects. You may be surprised to know there are over 100 types of arthritis, but today we will discuss the most common ones. Let's start with osteoarthritis. This is the wear and tear form of arthritis where the cartilage in your joints wears down over time, causing pain and stiffness mainly in the hands, knees, hips, and spine. Next, we have rheumatoid arthritis. This is an autoimmune disease where your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body's tissues, causing inflammation and swelling in the joints. It can also affect the body's organs. Lastly, let's talk about gout. This is a form of arthritis caused by excessive uric acid in the bloodstream, leading to severe joint pain and inflammation, typically in the big toe. For these conditions, treatment options can range from lifestyle changes to medications and surgery, depending on the severity and individual needs. While these are the most common, there are many other types of arthritis, each with its unique characteristics and treatments. Arthritis can significantly impact one's quality of life, but understanding it can be the first step towards managing it. We've journeyed through the complexities of this condition, exploring its pathophysiology and common types. We've discovered that arthritis isn't just a single disease, but an umbrella term that encompasses over 100 distinct conditions, all involving the inflammation of joints. Remember the knowledge we've shared today is a stepping stone to recognizing the signs and seeking timely medical advice. The importance of a professional diagnosis and tailored treatment plan cannot be overstated. Arthritis can be a daunting adversary, but with the right tools and guidance, it's a battle that can be fought with hope and resilience. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding arthritis. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more informative videos like this. Together, we can navigate the landscape of health and wellness with clarity and confidence.